Hi Capricorn, welcome to your February 18th through the 28th weekly reading. I am shuffling my Angel Tarot deck cards right now so I can pull you guys a crowner for this week. What is in store for Capricorn's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 18th through the 28th? What is in store for you guys this week? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Beautiful crowner, Capricorn. So you could be finding yourself um, exploring some feelings that you have. Um, you could be feeling um, very attracted to someone right now. Very romantic. Like, there's a part of you that really wants to go all and like above and beyond for this person like you want to be really romantic with them let's see let's see who you are dealing with interesting you could be dealing with a fire sign um, if not you're just feeling very um, you're, you've put yourself in a mental cage Capricorn from some pain that you've experienced um, you're really hurt and I think what's going on is you're not allowing yourself to explore these feelings or you haven't been allowing yourself to explore some feelings that you have for somebody because you're in a cage. You're hurt, something has hurt you in the past um, and because of that you're not, you're kind of like closing yourself off from everyone but the way that the man is holding the wand in the Nine of Wands card he is able to take those wands down at any moment and leave this cage. So this is self-entrapment, what you've put yourself in here. King of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign definitely here. Um, you could be... You could see this person as like a literal king. If you're dealing... I just saw the Ten of Cups while shuffling. You could see this person as like very high up, like you even see them as like, maybe some of you see this person as like too good for you, maybe that's why you feel a little scared about, you know, trying to get with this person. Look, the Ten of Cups again at the bottom of the deck, guys, this is beautiful. And the Ten of Pentacles, wow, Capricorn. You could be connecting with a water sign here, or another earth sign, but I'm getting that that's your energy. You're very abundant right now, Capricorn, you're doing very well with work. Um, and I think right now you're just trying to focus on your emotions, on your passion. You could have a lot of passion with this person. Uh, you guys could kiss a lot. You could make out a lot with this person. Because in romantic feelings, they're kind of like just, you know, they're about to kiss. And there are two angels guiding these people together. So some of you could have some angelic beings guiding you to this person. Clarify this King of Wands, please. I keep having two cards fall out of the deck. I just need one. Yeah, guys, you've been planting seeds with this person. Um, maybe you've been trying to get with this person for the past seven months and it just hasn't been working, but it's because Capricorn, you're very closed off. You're very closed off from this person. This could be someone from the past. Um, you could be connecting with, if you're a Capricorn male, you could be connecting with a brown-haired woman who's a very, very nice complexion, um, is what I'm seeing here. But you are blocking yourself off from these blessings, Capricorn. Um, but you are coming into mastery of your emotions this week, guys. You're, you're being seen as a master of your emotions. I mean, you're really, really seeing yourself as wanting a commitment. The star. Wow, guys, some of you guys could be connecting with an Aquarius. Um, if not, you are having hope about something. You're having hope about a situation where you felt very stuck, you felt very trapped. Um, I think you are going to be coming out of this emotional entrapment this week, guys, this mental entrapment. He's got a bandage over his head, so this person, or you or the other person, has kind of trapped themselves. Like, I'm getting that this is your energy, especially if you have fire in your chart. Um, you could have Aquarius in your chart as well. Whoever you're dealing with is your soulmate, and you could see this person as a master at what they do. And maybe that's a little intimidating for you. Maybe you see this person as 
you see this person is very high up guys like you do you do value this person and I think they intimidate you a little bit because the king of wands can be a little intimidating um, but you do want to be with this person there's just some fear here there but you're having hope like there's a part of you that's like okay maybe I can get these romantic feelings back Wow Capricorn Knight of Pentacles you could be making an offer this week or somebody could be coming through with an offer um, about some romantic feelings, somebody could be coming through and talking about their feelings, um, moving forward. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you guys could be going to a Virgo for some advice this week, guys. You could be going to a Virgo for some, like, maybe relationship advice. The Tower. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. I did see Ten of Cups in the deck. You know, some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign or an Aries because King of Wands is here. Tower is both Aries and Scorpio's card. You guys could be making an offer this week. And it's going to shake up. There's a shake up here, guys. Somebody is coming through with some seeds that they've planted. And there's a shake up here. Let me clarify. You, I really think that some of you guys are having hope about an offer that you're going to be making this week, guys. Maybe it's not going to come until towards the end of the week. Um, or you could have somebody come in and make you an offer this week, guys. Clarify the Nine of Wands and the Star card, please. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Page of Pentacles. Nice. So somebody is transitioning right now, Capricorn. I think you're going through some sort of a transformation period right now. You're going from a page to a knight. Um, you're growing up. You're, you're maturing. It's crazy because I saw the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles and then the king of pentacles. Which reading was it? Was it Libra's reading? I don't know. I saw this in another reading. I want to say it was Libra's reading. Because I do think Capricorn came out, so maybe check Libra's, Libra's reading and see, um, or maybe it was Sagittarius, it was one of the two, um, and see, like, what's going on, because you might, you might have something to do with a Libra, um, or a Sagittarius, because King of Wands is here, and I did see this, these two same exact cards together, um, you're becoming a master of what you do. You're maturing with these guys. You're going inward because I saw the hermit. You're meditating. You're figuring yourself out emotionally here, guys. This is going to be a very emotional week for you. Um, we still have this full moon energy kind of resonating, um, kind of like still chilling with us. Even though the moon is not full anymore, the energy still sticks around. So you could be experiencing a lot of emotion right now. And I know that Capricorns, um, well, Earth signs in general don't typically, um, aren't the most emotional people. They tend to be very hardy. So this week might be a little scary for you. Or just not scary, but maybe like a little nerve-wracking for you. Because you're like, what the hell is going on? You're just going through some sort of transformation here. Scorpio, the tower is all about transformation. You know, you're breaking some sort of ideals down so you can rebuild them again. You're planting seeds so you can create a new and better, more stable tower for yourself. Ace of Cups. Guys, I'm telling you, some of you guys here are connecting with an older fire sign. Uh, could be, it could be another water sign as well. Could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. This person makes you feel very emotionally fulfilled. They really do. Um, they fill your cup until it overflows. You see this person as innocence because the dove is here. You could, you could, um, you could see this person as very innocent. But they do, you just see them as very beautiful, like a beautiful sight. Because, you know, the pond is here with all these beautiful lily pads. You have manifested this person. You've totally manifested this person. This emotional love here that you're getting, these romantic feelings, they're coming through this week, guys. Interesting. So, I got the Eight of Swords here. Some of you guys are still feeling very bound to someone. 
I'm going to pull another clarifier. I want to see what this Eight of Swords is about with the Tower and the Seven of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Aquarius who is very bound to you or you are bound to them. There's a lot you don't know about this person. Wow. Queen of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you guys are actually like like bound to this person. Like no matter how far you go, you find yourselves always running back to this person or they're always running back to you. Um, so, somebody here is coming into terms with their emotions. You could be turning your back on a sense of feeling trapped and looking at this more in a positive light because maybe for a little while you looked at this commitment with this person as like a trap. Like you were like, oh, like I have no freedom, whatever, yada, yada, yada. But now you're starting to kind of shift your perspective a little bit and you're like, wow, this actually makes me feel really fulfilled. I don't feel so trapped anymore because all of it is mental. Like you have the complete and total ability to free yourself at any time. You just have a blindfold over you. You could be blinded by love with this person and that keeps you from leaving them. King of Swords. Yeah, guys, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. Uh, could be an Aquarius male, but you are looking at things from a very logical perspective here, guys, and you have been, or somebody here has been, whether it's you or the other person, somebody here has been looking at things from a very analytical perspective, um, and now they're starting to shift towards the end of the week to towards a more emotional perspective. And this is going to completely shake you up because you never expected to think like this about this person or just in general. Like maybe you're typically very logical in love and you think with your head a lot, especially Capricorns. Earth signs in general tend to be very, very um, analytical. They're not the most emotional people. So you could find yourself taking a complete 180 this week, guys, and you realize that somebody gives you emotional fulfillment and you're going to be offering your cup up you could literally be offering some sort of pentacle too because knight of cup the knight of pentacles is here um this will come in very slowly though this offer maybe you're very nervous to approach this person i think a lot of you don't know how to approach this person <laughs> because there's been some pain here somebody is still blinded by something that they don't know they're still bound to some emotions. They're still breaking some things down. You don't know how to approach this water sign. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, it's funny because I did Scorpio's reading and they're about to cut someone. So I would be very careful with approaching this person because I did see like somebody's going to be coming in slow. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, be weary of this person because they are ready to cut someone. King of Swords. Um, so yeah, just be weary. Or if, you know, if a person's coming to you, they're, they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Because I think this person doesn't really know how to begin or where to even, like, start. But somebody is coming through, and they're maturing very fast, guys. I think this is you. You're maturing very, very quick, Capricorn. Like, within the week, you're going to be a completely new person. You're going through some sort of transformation right now. And it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful here. Let me pull you guys an advice card for the week. Let's see what's the advice for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So you could be trying to connect with this person through a friend, or maybe that's the advice. Maybe you need to reach out to somebody. Like, because if this person here does not want to talk to you, I'm getting somebody's very closed off, like they're closing themselves off from you or you're closing yourself off from them. Somebody's going to get somebody else's friend to help them. You could like be trying to reach out to this person's friends and be like, hey, like how do I talk to so and so? You know, they're really upset with me or whatever. They've thrown me out of their life. And now I'm trying to figure out how to get back into this person's life. This doesn't have to be you feeling this way. This could be the other person. Maybe you're the one that's going to cut someone. New love, guys. That's the outcome. Wow. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So I don't know if this is so much in the sense of like a new person coming through. It could be for some of you. 
Um, you could have a new person coming through this week um, that does make you feel emotionally fulfilled. But I do get that this is more in the sense of like a renewed love here. Like it's renewed. There's some sort of emotions that are renewing because the Ace of Cups is here. This is someone from the past, somebody that you have been bound to already. You're still bound to this person. But there's like a new beginning here with this person. Because you're having hope and you're wishing for this. And whatever you're wishing for, Capricorn, like it's coming through. It may not come through in the way that you expect, um, but it is coming through here. You just need to be patient. Continue to work on whatever the hell you're working on right now. Continue to focus on your work. Because whatever that is, that's doing very well too. Um, and everything else will fall into place for you here. Um, you've got a lot of beauty here. You've got two angels for surezies. Both of you. You and this other person both have an angel here that's trying to bring you together. Like there's two angels here working together to bring you with this person. You were appointed by God to love this person. And that's why no matter what the hell they do to you, you still love them. This is for some of you. This isn't for all of you. Some of you are going to say, fuck this person and move on to new love. But others of you that do decide to go back with this person, it is because you were appointed by God to love this person. So, that is all I have for this spread. Um, if you'd like to book a personal read, you can always DM me or um, email me. My information is in the description box below. I'm also doing a special uh, this month, guys, all the way through March. You can refer three people and get a free tarot reading. Just have your people let me know who referred them and yeah, it's on all of that. All of that will be in the information description box below. So just let me know and I'll see you guys later. Take care Capricorns. Bye. Have a wonderful week.